change the kefir. <coughs> this is water kefir and it's been brewing probably three days. Just take the top off. Look at all those new new babies in there. And this bag, I do my fruit in that bag that you can see there. And it's a little foil bag and I just put my fruit and my ginger in there and um, feed it every three days. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So the first thing I need to do is strain the liquid, which I do in here. <coughs> And I have to do, I don't have to do, but I do, half a litre at a time. Those back in there for a minute. <clears throat> so I've a spoon. And this is ready to drink now, this is ready to bottle off. So I'm going to put that one <clears throat> into this sterilised bottle. And I could second ferment this bottle, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to use this. I'll just put that to one side for a second. When I capture the rest of this, and then I'll show you the grains at the bottom. once they all come out. <coughs> and they are all in there. And the grains, the water kefir grains, I found <coughs> are much easier for me to work with. When you fill your bottle up, leave a little bit because it will continue to carbonise. And I pop that <coughs> over here. <coughs> now, I have another um, because that water that's been standing overnight <coughs> has filtered and I just let it stand overnight to um, get the rest of the chlorine out. So as I was saying, I prefer to use oh, look at all those babies. Um, water kefir now. Just wash that out. Um, because it, for me, it's easier to take care of I tried milk kefir and as much as it's beautiful and it's lovely, <clears throat> I don't use milk, I use plant based milk and I make my own. So that wasn't working out too good. Let me just come and show you. So all of these in here, let's just get that over there a bit have grown. I started off with a little batch, probably about a teaspoonful, and now this has grown. I've had this about six weeks now. So what we have to do into this vessel again, put just get rid of this. Put that in there. Put that in my cup to drink. quite pale because some of mine are quite um, my last batch was quite quite a different colour but that's okay really nice right so what we have to put back in here then is 70 grams of sugar And I just use organic when I can get it. 
Oops, too much. <coughs> Or if not, I do just use plain sugar. And she doesn't seem to mind it. I say she. I call them she. she they could be he's. They could be androgynous, couldn't they? But they are full of goodness. So I put my sugar in to my container. View right now. There we go. And <clears throat> I've got all beautiful intentions in when I'm doing this. Because for me, any making of any food is sacred. It is life force energy pure life force energy so everything i know that cane sugar or sugar isn't a life force energy because it's not good for you but it's food it's food for these little babies so i'm just going to pour some water in there that's been standing overnight just to dissolve that <coughs> where's my little spatula And again, I'm sure that you've read everywhere on YouTube that you should not put metal in contact with your kefir grains. So I tend to use wooden or plastic. So I'm just dissolving as much of that sugar as possible. Then I'm going to add the rest of the water. That makes half a litre. Then I'm going to add the rest of the water. Which makes me a litre. And then I'm going to add the kefir grains. Back in. There you go. And again, I talk to my kefir grains. I tell them how beautiful they are how amazing they are, because they're live. It's live culture, it's live people. And so I would talk to these like I talk to anyone, with respect and love, honor, understanding, and just sheer gratitude for the amount of beautiful food it's going to give me. And I just give them a stir. You don't have to, but I just invoke the energies of love and thank you. I give them gratitude for giving me such good, healthy drinks, which are full, teeming with good probiotics. And as I say, I've tried milk kefir, but I don't. I can't keep the grains alive because I don't drink, you know, I don't drink milk, so um, I've tried kombucha, um, and again, I, I just couldn't keep on top of it. Right, so with the little bag now, let me just get those out of the way, I'm going to put these organic dried raisins, I'm going to put teaspoon about three tablespoons this isn't a tablespoon but three tablespoons of dried fruit and I like just to use raisins or sultanas and this again helps to feed them helps them to grow Just putting beautiful thoughts in to this bag because this is going to go inside and <clears throat> the actual vessel. There we go. So I fill that bag up with raisins and then to that I add, oh, where is it gone? A big chunk of. <clears throat> Oh, 
ginger. I know you can't see what I'm doing right now, but I'm just taking some of the outer, outer area off. And just beautiful fresh ginger. And I'm going to put that, I love ginger, in my bag. Tie my bag up. Put a little knot on to make sure it doesn't all come out. And then I plop that in. And it sinks. And you know when it's all done because that floats to the top. Um, but again, I put a timer on my phone. Um, in three days time to actually take the brew out. I'm just cleaning the top of any residual. So you want to stop fruit flies getting in here. I just want to wash my cloth. And I've got in hot water just to get off any sticky residue that we have putting on there. And I'm just going to place this over the top. And I'm going to place an elastic band around it just to keep any fruit flies out. And then just place the top and the lid like that. And this is an old, I don't know what, I think this is like a chamois, it's not chamois leather, but it is used for car cleaning, I think. Um, and I just put that with an elastic band around my jar. And that just keeps it at the right temperature so that it doesn't, you know, it keeps it warm. And then I put it back on my tray or in the corner, wherever you've got, whatever space you've got in your kitchen and leave it there for three days to do its magic once again. And that's my water kefir. And this one actually tastes really good. Here we have it in my, in my cup. Now, if you want to ferment this again, what you would do is, in the bottle, you would place some fruit in here. And it does actually carbonate it up a little bit more. But I actually quite like it like this. Obviously the longer you leave it, the more soury, vinegary it goes, but it's still full of probiotics and biotics, good for your gut. Um, what I found is when I put apples in as a second ferment, it tasted a little bit like cider. So, and that was great, but then um, it just started to go more and more vinegary because obviously it was fermenting again, so I chose not to do that version and just keep to the basic. Beautiful. Um, kefir water, which is full of good probiotics, as I said, for your gut. And your gut is a fantastic tool for... Um, your immune system is actually where in your gut and um, so by clearing out your uh, and getting the symbiosis symbiosis um, of your gut bacteria in good order it boosts your immune system so this is a great way of doing that um, and it's easy to do and all you need is a teaspoon of grains to start off with and those were organic grains and I bought them from Happy Kombucha, which is where I get all of my grains from. Um, and there's lots of videos on their site to show you how to do each one. But this is one of my um, go-tos every day. I don't drink too much of it because it, when you get die off, if you've got a lot of bacteria in your colon, which everybody has, but not the right good bacteria, then you can get what's known as um, die off. And when you first start drinking it, you just need to take it in small amounts. And I mean a shot glass every other day until your body starts to um, build up with the good bacteria. And then you can go to a little bit more. But still, um, once your body, it takes time. So don't think this is going to happen in a week. If you've got a lot of bad bacteria in your body and you've got lots of colon issues and you've got lots of dietary issues and you've got lots of... Um, issues around um, uh, allergies and things then it's because your bacteria gut flora is out of balance and you need to do this probiotic issue putting it not the issue but putting the probiotic back in very slowly 
as the slower the better actually because you can have really bad side effects and um, they're not bad side effects as in they're going to kill you but they're not pleasant to experience and so I'd say if you know that you've got a gut issue take it slow because it's better that you're doing something than doing nothing and leaving the bad bacteria overtake so things like candida um, anything to do with uh, chronic fatigue syndrome I'd even say that's a bad bacteria or, or gut flora is out of balance um, uh, I'd even say fibromyalgia I'd say um, anything to do with IBS or dietary inflammation and um, you know uh, dietary uh, brain fog <laughs> one of them um, nutritional deficiencies so this is only going to help to put into your body what your body is lacking in it's not going to cure it doesn't it's not a cure there is no cure it's an imbalance okay um so and i'm not a doctor um so if you feel that you need to do this and you have got a, a colon issue or a um a dietary issue that you're have lots of allergies to wheat and intolerances to dairy and things like that check with your doctor first well if your doctor's helpful of course then you'll be in a good space but if your doctor's not helpful then just take it slow this is good bacteria so it can't harm you providing that you've done everything that you're supposed to do in, in the directions that you get when you buy your water kefir so it's a it's a very slow process your gut didn't get into a bad condition overnight it took a lot of time and it took a lot of effort on behalf of your body to get it into that such bad imbalance and the imbalance can be caused by stress, can be caused by overload of um, different environmental chemicals, etc., and stresses um, that hit the body that we don't realise. You could have something um, quite chronic um, illness to do with the gut. So you need to consult with your pharmacy, physician, whoever it is in your country that you talk to about stuff like this. Because I'm not a doctor, I don't claim, I'm not putting any claims to this, I'm just telling you how I use it and the reasons I use it, is to help rebalance the, the imbalance in my gut flora. And I use water kefir to do that. Not for everybody, but you know it's it's a good thing to have in the diet it's a bit like putting a supplement in but you're in control of what the ingredients are and it's very but if you look if you google it and you look at water kefir benefits you'll find out that it's a really good option um to increase in especially with all the stress that we have going on in the world it hits us and people say to me one person comes to mind in particular on this is that oh i don't suffer with stress I, i'm not a stressful person i'm horizontal i'm laid back and I said to this person, yes, you may be, but your organs might not be. So without you realising, your organs are under everyday stress without you realising it. It's only you become consciously aware of it when you become ill or you become burnt out. But every day your organs are under some sort of stress, whether it's from an external environmental stressor, whether you're working on computers, your body has to do something with all of that energy. And the build-up and toxic overload on your organs is actually phenomenal. So, um, I'm, again, not putting claims to this, and I'm not a doctor, I'm not a scientist. I just know what my body has and how my body responds, because I listen to it. And your body will talk to you if you listen to it. So, if you need more of something in your body and you start to become aligned with what your body needs then work it through because um, what you put in is who you become and what comes out so um, putting this in a time when everybody's stressed everybody in the world is doing a whole big stressor fear thing right now and your organs are feeling all of this so it's good to nourish them and as you get older that nourishment dec decreases because your body slows down your organ function slows down so you need to supplement it with something you need to give it some support um, and this is just one way of doing that so I hope that you've enjoyed it and I hope that you will give it a go and as I said to you before I'm not affiliated with happy kombucha um, .co.uk but they are where I get my organic stuff and they're a great team they're wonderful people they're doing the right thing um, so go and check out their website and order yourself some water kefir grains